and welcome, PML fans. I'm your host, Joe Zamora here, and I'm bringing you week four of the PML draft. And we are facing off against Alex the Great, a.k.a. Braz Hippie, a.k.a. the New York Aqua Jets. And this could be a very interesting rivalry if they continue to keep joining PML because obviously the New England Chargers are based off the New England Patriots and the New York Aqua Jets sound like they're based off the New York Jets. So it's going to be an interesting game. Of course, they do got Ditto. They got Trick Room. They didn't bring a Lolan Marowak, so that's going to be very interesting here. Um, we are going to lead off um, Incineroar just in case they try to get off um, that interesting uh, Trick Room Memento play. We have nothing that really has set up aside from Grimmsnarl, and that's only to break things. So if Ditto copies that, I'm not too worried about it. If he copies Lycanroc, that could be a problem, but he can't Dynamax Ditto, so. <sighs> we shall see. We shall see, but good luck. Have fun. They are still picking their mods. They better hurry up because they only got five seconds left, and it looks like they got it in, in time. Perfect. So good luck. Have fun. Alex the Great, Fast Hippie, New York Aqua Jets. And let's see how this battle plays out. So we're leading off in center roar. Let's see what he decides to lead off. Okay, pop brownie. Okay, so yeah, that's the whimsy cut. So that's the lead I expected. So now we just simply fake out here. They might switch. They might not. We will find out. But I'm just going to click fake out. What are they gonna do? I didn't bring rocks even though I felt like it would help. Mainly because Hatterene has magic bounce and I didn't want to deal with it. And they are taking a very long time to pick their move. Let's see what they decide to do. We aren't on timer so that's one good thing. But they do have a 10 minute timer on their side. So if they run out of time on that, they will lose. So there we go. They used almost a whole minute. <laughs> now we're just going to flare blitz because if he goes trick room, it's negative priority. If he goes tell room, that'll be interesting. But we shall see. I'm just going to Flare Blitz. So it's going to hit something hard. <clears throat> okay so they did go the tailwind route so pop brownies down who the I, I uh i guess correctly probably salamance comes in now and if salamance comes in that's not the worst thing in the world we'll just switch Millennium. Yep. Okay. So Intimidate goes off. This is where we go to Grim Snarl. And we get Reflect Up. We can live any hit with no problems. We are max defense, max HP. I did let Fraz Tippy know to be careful on taking so long to pick their moves. Because if their timer runs out, they lose. So.
Incineroar is about to get switched here. Salamance is going to do Salamance thing. Oh, and yeah. That doesn't affect us. And that is special. So, what would he go to here? I'm just going to click... Uh, I'm just going to click Draining Kiss, see what happens. If he hits us, we'll get the health back. And we'll get a good chunk off on it. And if he switches... I mean, nothing really wants to take this except Hattering. And if they go Hattering, we have a Pokemon to go to. So, not too worried about it. Okay, so they swap. Boy. Yep, that's Ditto. And we're going to go Draining Kiss. Ooh, and that's a good chunk. I think we just stay in and do that again. I mean, it's going to hit us, but not as hard because our bulk is better. Thanks to uh, Ditto not being able to copy HP. So I'm just going to click it again. Scarfed is probably what it is, so it's going to be faster. Wow, that hit hard? No wonder. Of course we get critted. Of course. But we get that health back. Ooh, did we get a crit too? Oh, perfect. Perfect trade-off. I'll take that. So now we're even. Oh, maybe Tailwind was just the reason it was faster. I'm just going to click Drain and Kiss again. If they switch to Hattering, that's great. They go Drain and Kiss. They shouldn't do as much. <clears throat> and um, I don't think we'll knock it out, but we'll do a good chunk. And we're having a kissing contest. <laughs> <clears throat> and I'm going to click it one more time. The first ever kiss-off in Pokemon versus two of the ugliest creatures in the world. <laughs> Grimmsnarl and himself. So they know, obviously, I'm getting more health back than they are. Let's see what Fraz Hippie decides to do here. I think they switch at this point. Which would be nice. I mean, if they don't, oh well. We should knock it out, though. <clears throat> and we'll get all that health back. So, we shall see. Come on. Draining Kiss. Alright. So, hopefully no crits happen. Because that would kill us. It's so much HP back. Jesus. We might be getting back less health, actually, than they are. So I'm going to go to Stellar because it's AV. It's not going to do nothing to us. And then we'll get Initiative. Interesting he didn't bring Mantine either. That kind of, well, I guess it doesn't do much to my team, but it would have been useful for him. Maybe we'd like to try to counter our uh, Gastrodon. But now they are really deciding what they want to do here. We're switching, without a doubt. They're locked into Draining Kiss, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, they withdrew. Who did they go to? Abstent. Okay. Oh, awesome. This is exactly the matchup I wanted. Cryogonal against uh, <clears throat> Hatterene. So Stellar's going to come out here. Shiny as can be. 
And we're just going to go flash cannon into this thing. Hatcherine might get up uh, Trick Room, but that's not too big of a problem. I think we should be able to two-shot with Flash Cannon. But if this thing is bulky, we're going to have to three-shot it. Alright, Flash Cannon goes off. Probably goes Mystical Fire on us. Okay, so that is pretty bulky. It's at least max HP. Alright, so the Trick Room comes off. We're not too worried about Mystical Fire, except for the fact that it's going to lower our special attack. So we're just going to Flash Cannon again. Hopefully we get a Spadef drop. That, that'd help us. So what does they decide to do here? I mean, they could always just switch to Scrappy as well. And that would be a problem. Because <clears throat> I don't have much for Scrafty. Okay, so Scrafty. Sleazy. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's Scrafty. <laughs> and Scrafty is just a bulky Pokemon, so it's going to take this pretty well. Very well. But we get the Spideff drop, so that's that's nice. So now we can go to... I could go to Notorious B.I.G. I kind of want to go to Incineroar so we could fake out and waste another turn. And then possibly Will-O-Wisp. But honestly, I might just Flare Blitz. <clears throat> Intimidate drop. Goes fake out. Okay, that's fine. We take that. We're leftovers. Dang, they're sitting at 3 minutes and 41 seconds left. Ooh. What are they doing? <laughs> that's, a, that's a long time. That's a lot of time to waste on just picking a move. So we're going to go fake out here to waste another turn of Trick Room. Then we can swap to Gastrodon. And I don't know if they realize how much time they have left, but that's going to it's gonna affect uh, what happens in this match. Wow. Um, come on, we're just going to fake you out. I know you don't know that, but... Millennium. Okay. So, we're going to get the fake out. They're probably going to think we switch to um, Grimmsnarl again. Uh, that's bulky. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Will-O-Wisp. Because we can take a Draco. And let's see what the Salamence decides to do. Does it go for a physical attack? Does it go for a special attack? We are going to be faster because of Trick Room, but we miss. How does a Fire type miss? Ooh, Hydro Pump. I don't know if we take that. We do not. <laughs> we do not take that at all. So I think this is full special Salamence. Okay, Dimensions returned to normal. I'm going to go to uh, Notorious B.I.G. here. So Reflect on... Uh, 
reflect on what do you call it reflect on uh grim snarl was not probably the best spring i didn't expect fully special salamance would have brought light screen in that case but you know it is what it is we adapt and overcome and uh hopefully they realize they need to pick their moves a little quicker I let them know their timer's almost out, so. Draco Meteor, we'll take that fine. Ooh, not fine at all. We're going to have to recover here. So, yeah, we're forced to recover. They'll probably switch anyway. We might get a timer win here. I really was trying to avoid that. I mean, if they go Draco Meteor and get a crit, we will we'll die. I mean, we were built physically defensive. Again, not expecting special Salamence. So, got very good bring on their part for that. And Sleazy comes in. So, we're going to go recover. And get a lot of health back. Almost the full. And with leftovers, we will be. So, I'm just going to go for Scold. No reason to predict... So we go Scald here. They go Fake Out. All right. Really good pick of a move. I can't go Toxic because if Hatterene switches in, I'll be messed up. So I just got to go Scald here. Goes Knock Off, which we're going to lose our leftovers now, but that's not too big of a problem. Ooh, is that AV? I'm going to go recover. Nothing they could do is really going to hurt me. Yeah, they, they withdraw. Boy. All right. They might click recover to get health back. I'm just going to click Ice Beam. I mean, we're at six Pokemon of their five anyway. Oh, they go Toxic. Oh, but they miss. And our Ice Beam doesn't. So down goes the boy. Again, uh, Gastrodon's not our win con, so Toxic there wouldn't have mattered too much. I just wanted that Ditto gone. So now what does um, New York Aqua Jets go to here? Oh, they might run out of time. Abstent. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so their player time ran out. And we win the battle. Very uh, lackluster win there. But it's, I mean, it is what it is. You, you play at a 10-minute chess timer and you hope 
that you know that doesn't happen because that's the whole point of getting around the uh 20 minute timer thing but i mean if you you take a while to do your moves that's that's it so uh gg to um fraz tippy and better luck next week and we are on our win streak and we hope to keep it rolling next week thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next time